Jack, there's a statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. I think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. All units, 
These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. an address, 133 North Vermont Avenue. Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. What exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came... Highly recommended. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch. Mr. Nicholson, can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. You know, the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. You drive. 
I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? You think McLaughlin went up in smoke? Or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tomiko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch, figured by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Could be a class ring. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Looks like we have a match. Interesting thing, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites, 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. You know the way. You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed?
What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was uh, J2620 code. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247, message please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Fix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Boss R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. You're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, detective. Sorry. Thanks, Pat. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes's Starlet. Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing. So, oh, this is the spruce. Girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs. You want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucker. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? 
Sometimes. I have a couple of them for my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. But we know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. The question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside? And her. have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. process was going to replace all this. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the props, Ben? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German ploy. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon.
You can drive. So where do you want to go? So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out the Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. We had a little bit of stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? Or a little man was invented by guys like me. Winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down on my sap. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Hey, do you think those vice boys get any on the side? Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? Can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Now P. Source strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out, now the DA wants my head. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple of years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes, and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed, where does that leave Nicholson? 
put a great big hole in the ground. I gave him quite the cat. I said, all fair and love and war. He's the cop who arrested that movie producer. It's about time some of those movie people went to jail. If he can... That's the creep. Walked out on his wife. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Engstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, by the stove! The gas line, Cole, we're out of here! Come on. There you are, shit heel. Come on! He's not getting away from us! Stay on that fucker. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. Security men first. 
I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade.
The arsonist is a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Help you? I was married by a judge. Should've How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah. I'm sure. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Shelton is dead, and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. And Elysian Fields Developments would like to have. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Wow. That sure looks like a beauty.
I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. Ha -ha. Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. The doctor has been marking this map. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. If you're imbecile, Harlan, get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which... I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso. He knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control.
so much for your foresight, Doctor. This isn't what we're looking for. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the fire bug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Nobody's home. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme.
Quite a flock you got here, kid. I know those faces. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. River tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. KGPL. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, Roger that. Three. The hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for him. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso, described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. I picked up his car. I'll we'll need help to make it to the river.
Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his failsafe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new Brome Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer?
Are you okay, Princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Kelso! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His ex is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. 
Now! That's an order! Everyone out of here now! Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belts to an aid station! Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes! Everything that happened in here stays in here, do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. God. You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who you recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend. Ooh. 
feel. and jury, they all agree, if love's the crime, I'm doing time, and I don't look like I'll ever get free, yeah baby, you know I'm guilty, baby, you know I'm guilty, while you're my client, I'll be your bonnie. Could pretend I'll be good again, but while loving you's the charge I'll never be. Cause baby, you know I'm guilty. Don't walk away, don't do me 
Don't leave me singing this torched song when I'm burning. I'm burning up for you. Struck the sparks. You fired the flames in me. And now my heart's a blazing ruin. You say that. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petalu and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. 
Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the Sixth have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing.